In this video, we shall look at the reproduction in flowering plants. We shall look at the parts of a flower. Now, the flower is the reproductive part of a flowering plant and the following are parts of a flower and their functions. We shall look at them. Here we have the flower. It has all these parts. We shall look at their functions. We have the stigma, the style, the sepals, the petals, the anthers, filaments, over the ovules, and finally we have the stop. We shall look at the function of each and every part. Now we can start with the filaments. Now the filaments hold the anthers and what we have a part that is called the stamen. The stamen consists the anthers and the filaments and they are the main parts of the flower. That is what you call the main parts of the flower. Now the filaments and the anthers consist of the stamen and they are the main parts of the flower. Now we have the second category of parts of plant. We have the ovary, the stigma, style and ovules. In the other name we have the, it's called the carpel or the pistil and we look at the, their functions. The ovary produces ovules which are the female sex cells of a plant. The stigma receives pollen against during pollination. And also, the style connects the stigma to the ovary. The ovules are the female sex cells of a plant and they develop into seeds. The ovary, stigma, style, and ovules, all of these are called the pistil. We have the petals of the corolla. Now, these are the petals. Petals are brightly colored parts of the flower. They attract insects for pollination. And we have the sepals. The other name of sepals are the calyx. Sepals are the green parts of a flower. They protect the flower during the bud stage before the flower opens up. That is the bud stage. And many sepals form the calyx. And finally, we have the stalk. The stalk holds the flower. It is the part that holds the flower. It exposes the flower to agents of pollination, weeds, and insects. And that consists of the parts of a flower.